The Word of God and the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be here with you in Tulsa. Tulsa, no talk at ve, kong jacob te kiek, no am saying. I love, I love being in this church. He paul pi, kong jacob te no am sudden him. It's a good church. I, re I, re I remember when uh, you first started. It was just a few people in a Bible study. But now you have 1,300 people. That's wonderful. We need to give God thanks for that. Amen. Amen. So, um, I love what God is doing through this church. I love Pastor Moon and, and Niang and their three children. Mung, 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 Mung Pu is in, in uh, Dallas. Dallas. And Kai over here. Mm -hmm. And Sam P. I remembered. I remembered the names. I mean, no chap there lying. So it's great to see what God is doing in Burma. Sixty outreaches now. Sixty churches and outreaches. Paul Pete, Tom, Guk, Val, Bangki, Putta, Chip, and Lam Dang Saing. And I believe over six thousand people in the church there. Eh. And we look forward to going back in, a, in about a week. So we bring you greetings from uh, Worship Center. That's our home church. In Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And uh, Sherlyn and I pastored there for 40 years. Sherlyn Kazile ke tataka pasta kasabu kum som li sem hiung. And then several years ago, we handed the lead pastor role over to Matt Mylan. Matt Mylan ati kang no katunga to apol pig ap ta hiung. He was our worship director for 10 years. Ama ben kama kapol kabiang mila makayu. Um, and now he's been pastoring there for two years. And he's doing a wonderful job. So, so now Sherlyn and I oversee all of our churches. We have many churches and many missionaries around the world. But when we're home on a Sunday, we go there to church. And I sit right behind Matt. <laughs> Cheer him on. <laughs> well, you know, life has seasons. And God leads us in different paths, in different seasons of life. I, I was raised in an Amish family. No Amish? Amish, you explain them. <laughs> Amish people do not believe in modern conveniences. Go Amish, then he too like we drive horse and buggy. We're not allowed to have cars. So I'm the oldest of 12. And then I have, I have six brothers and five sisters. So, um, when I was 18, 
I left, I left the Amish because I wanted a car. And I wanted a telephone. And electricity. Amish people are not allowed to have those things. So, but as a young boy, I felt called to preach. But Amish people are not allowed to go to high school. They're not allowed to go to college. So I didn't know how this would happen. And so uh, one day, I gave my life to Jesus. Even, even as a little boy, I always felt I would be a minister someday. But I was very shy. When the teacher would ask me to stand up and read from a book in school, I would faint. I would just fall down. <laughs> so I told God when, when he called me to be a minister, I said, I fall down. And so we started a Bible study. And one day a man came to that Bible study and gave me a magazine magazine called the Word of Faith magazine. Word of Faith magazine. And it had a little article in there about Rama Bible Training Center starting. Rama Bible Training right here right here in Broken Arrow. And in fine print it said no high school diploma needed. High school or no? Kisam Louis, Chikat Nom, Kiu Kiao Sei. And I said to Sharon, Look at that. That's, well, let's go there to school. Ah, that's the Sharon Kazikia. And no, yeah, eh, adding eighteen. It was only nine months school. Topen Kakuabe Kikahi. And so at the end of nine months, we went back to our home area. Kakuaka Chinute Kakuawa Chakikium. And started with twenty five people. Me som Nilengato Kipanium. And to our surprise, the church started to grow. We had a thousand people in the first couple of years. And today we have over 4,000 people. And we have, we have, uh, and we reach into 120 nations around the world. So from an Amish boy with no education other than 8th grade preaching around the world. Amen. I give I give God all the glory. Amen. So, um, I want to talk to you today. This, this morning when I was praying about today, let, let me say this first. We have uh, uh, four children. One in heaven and three in, in the earth. We have seven grandchildren and four great grandchildren. <laughs> and we have been married for 51 years. And we have been in ministry now for almost 43 years. But I want to talk to you today about something that's on my heart. 
I want to encourage you in the area of dealing with the fears that we face in life. Life has, life has many fears and anxieties that try to stop our progress in life. There are all kinds of fears. There's the fear of death. The fear of failure. The fear of rejection. The fear of something bad happening. The fear of disease. Fear of accidents. Accident Fear of shootings. All kinds of fears that try to come into our lives. So it's not a matter of not having fears. It's a matter of how to face our fears in life. The, ap the Apostle Paul said this. He said, he said, we are pressed on every side by troubles. But, but we're not crushed. We are perplexed but not driven to despair. We're hunted down but not abandoned. We, we get knocked down but we're not destroyed. When the Apostle Paul came into a city called Macedonia, Macedonia he said, We faced conflict from every direction. With battles, with battles on the outside. And fear on the inside. So even the Apostle Paul had to deal with fear. And we live in a world of uncertainty. But we can't allow fear to hold us back. We can't just stay in our houses. We can't just stay at home. We must deal and face our fears. Every day. Our experiences call for us to reach out and have faith in God. How many of you are glad we can have faith in God? We don't have to live in fear. We can have faith in God. In Galatians 2.20, Paul said this. He said, my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. But, but Christ lives in me. How many of you are glad Christ lives in you? <laughs> so why should we be afraid? Because Jesus lives in here. Why should, why should we be afraid? 
He says, so I live in this earthly body. By trusting in the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. And I thought to myself, what did Paul mean when he said that? The life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God. What did he mean by that? When, when you look at the word faith, faith, faith is a persuasion. Faith means to be persuaded. Yeah. Or a conviction of the truthfulness of God. Or a reliance upon Christ. So to live by faith in the Son of God is to rely on and put our complete trust in Him. So faith is a firm persuasion. A firm conviction that God's word is true. Faith is also a personal surrender to God. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So faith then is being persuaded that God is true that his word is true but fear is this fear is a distressing emotion when we sense danger or evil or pain comes. Fear has the meaning of flight. You want to run. It also means to be cowardly or timid. So listen to this. Faith is a persuasion fear is an emotion so faith fear <laughs> no I didn't say anything funny are you are you preaching when your own you message no no no, no. <laughs> No, I don't know. <laughs> when you said emotion, I don't find in my language. So emotion means feeling, I said. Feeling, yeah. yeah. Am yeah. I correct? So, so faith being a, per, a firm persuasion is, is, is designed to overcome fear. Fear is an emotion or feeling. Emotion like a feeling. Emotions are up and down. But faith is steady. 
ไอ้ตรงนี้นะอุบนาเป็นตั้งตะกินะได้ดีเดนไปเพ So faith overcomes fear. ตัวเองนะอุบนาเล่านะตุงะกวาดเซี So we walk by faith. ตัวเองไอ้เป็นอุบนาตัวอักลสวนเทีย And not by sight. มุนาตัวอักลสวนเทีย So we can courageously face our fears with faith in God. ตัวเองนะไอ้เป็นอุบนาตัวเล่านะตุงะตุงตัวงี้นะเล่านะเป็นโจโจเฮียง Now somebody might say, "Okay, Pastor Sam, how do I get faith like that?" ตัวเองเสพบอกกันเต็มาสเซมอก็จะบอกเองตัวอุบนางะที่เดียมองจิขัดยังเหี่ยวเต็ You might say, "I wasn't raised in a church." เคยเป็นบอลปีปันเนี่ยว่าเคยเป็นตะปีโดเป็นขังเฮียเลยเว้ยองจิขัดยังเหี่ยวเต็ None of my friends or family are particularly religious. ก็ยินกวนปีเตจงก็ยินก็ก็นายไว้เต็มเป็น Biang nami ahilau tam kema mahui. How do I find faith? Ken koi jibanga upnanga zenzen kehiam. How do I get faith? Koi jibang ken upnanga. D. L. Moody, a great preacher. D. L. Moody pasien tu gen min thang mama pai na. He said, he said, I prayed for faith. Upnaka nei nadi intu kang en he. And thought someday it would come down and strike me like lightning, but faith didn't come. เดียวมูดีบางทีมจะทุกข์อุบนากันเองเลยทุกข์เงี้ยนะกังเงี้ยเงี้ยนะเขาเป็นเล็บบางอินอุบนางไปสุกินะองค์กาบสุกดิ่งจินละเม็ดนะตัวอุบนางไปดิ่งเป็นเขาเป็นเล็บไปสุกบางไปดีนะกังงากค่ะองค์ไปเงี้ยมามาเลยจีฮี Then one day ไอ้ตรงนี้ขันนี้ I read in the Bible that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God นี่กันนี่เตะลายเสียงรู้กระซิมเลยลายเสียงรู้ซะบางจุดเลยอุบนาเป็นสางนาตุงตอนินพยางาตัวอิสระดิ่งเป็นปัสยันกัมมาลี I closed my Bible and I prayed for faith but faith didn't come กี่ตัวลายเสียงรู้คูบีนะทุกข์กันเหตุอุบนางไปตัวนลี Then I opened my Bible And began to read and study, and faith has been growing ever since. Hey, do I get that? Oh, by the way, let's see. Can I say that we've been learning, learning, man, that we've been simple, simple. Do I put in dumb, dumb, cup, not hung, to, to, he, he. So reading and taking into our heart the scriptures produces faith in our lives. ตัวเองมันนี่นะปัจจัยการมัลซิมินลิมตะกะอิสิมนัตุงตอนินอิสุงะอุบนางเพียงสักฮี So when we have a fear ตัวเองมันนี่นะเล่าไหนได้ตักเตะ We have to address that fear with scripture ตัวเองมันตัวอิงะข้างเล่าหน้าเป็นลายเสียงทุปัจจัยการมัลโตโดดิ่งยัง Because that's where our faith comes from บางทีลายเสียงเราเปรียบกับมัลปะเนี่ยอุบนางไปฮี I told you earlier that we have three children on earth and one in heaven เดี๋ยวนี้นะคงเห็นนะกระตาเตทุ่มโดมินขัดเบลวันดุงเจสันกินีจิฮิง In 1974กุมตุลขัดสกวาสอมสกิเลลีกุมิน Sherlin and I had a 16-month-old son who got out on the road and was hit by a vehicle and died เอ่อกตาอุขสมเลยขกุกอภพันเป็นลำพิทุงอามาตุนอันไปหลายตะกินมอตอคดินนัตไตสกินะสีฮี That was the hardest day of our lives กันนุนต่างนะสัวฮักสักสักเป็นเป็นหลายตะกุฮี Because sometimes even today ตัวนี้นังอ้อนนี่นับบังคัดไปไปบังเจียมจีเล่ I wonder what he would be doing if he would be on the earth เอ่อตัวนี้นะตัวกตาเปาเป็นเลยตุงอามหลายบังเล่ And then I also wonder what he's doing in heaven. Then in 1978, the Lord, the Lord blessed us with another son. And when he reached the same age. That our son was that was killed. The enemy tried to put fear in me. 
I began to be afraid that the same thing would happen to our second son. I didn't want to let him out of my sight. I didn't want to let him out of my sight. I couldn't even go to work for several days. It seemed like I had to have my eyes on him all the time. Because I was afraid something was going to happen. I couldn't go to work. So what was I going to do? I was a young pastor. I was a, 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 a Christian for about seven years. I was hungry to know the Bible. So I went and found two scriptures that delivered me from this fear. Anytime you have a fear, find scriptures that deal with that fear. And the first scripture I found was Isaiah 54, 17. It says, but in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. In, in, in that coming day, meaning the day of trouble. And so the enemy brings things against us as, as weapons. This scripture says, you will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. Fear has to do with thoughts in your mind. Voices will come to your mind. Like the voices were saying to me. Something's going to happen to this boy too. He's going to die too. What are you going to do now? But it says you will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. So I would say to those voices, nothing is going to happen to this boy. In the name of Jesus, I speak protection over him. And I will not be afraid anymore. So I use that scripture and, and this one. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind. So I, so I knew God didn't give me that fear. I knew the fear came from the enemy. And just like we were hearing from Sunday school today, we have authority over the enemy. We can call him down. And my friends, acting on those two scriptures, 
kaipen tua kamal pasen kamal ni to kam takhi ahi put faith into me to face the fear to i mean in a katua khaglau na kagwal zon na ding in tua kamal te zang hin it didn't happen in a day tua kachi deben ni kat tua ong piang hilo it didn't happen in two days ni ni bang a piang zong itual lo hi i had to stand strong i took in ding pai suak pasien kamal tung ding tang pai suak hing and use scripture to overcome the fear tua kalau na tunga gua zona kanga dong lai siang do kamal tunga ding pai suak in ni simin do pai suak hing so so we can choose to live in fear e te lau na sunga nung ta zoding mo i didn't know you were finished or we can face our fear <laughs> or we can face our fears by applying god applying god's word aitel lau na sanga nung ta zading mo aikile ong tung lau na pen pasian ka mal to do zading jing mo chi pen aite tel di ngai there there is not a quick formula dai menina lau na abai pa na ding ina aman lang tei tei formula cha That will make all of our anxieties vanish. Maybe, maybe some of you feel like you need to step out in doing something. He ning jai jokat lung siwa ngai sana kan ong suak mong mok kata di he we need sometimes we need to stretch ourselves and step out into something god is putting in our heart pasian ni isungang pia khat be be same ke di ngin ong solun kat jongom di he but we're afraid to do so ai ong to bang isep khiat ding pe lao ya we're afraid that we'll fail ai to pe same ke pong mong leng wal lel na kat be ka ngak mong mok kata mo chi dan kat ngai suna do ong mong mok kata di he But as we take steps of faith, I don't either. Up na to kal iswan takte. Taking a single step forward robs fear of its power. Tua iman ina tua kal kat na swan man man na swan do takte. Tua in na sungal lao na teben ong sat kedi. When I was a little boy, I told you this before. Eh, katang balay kanau pang lai na tena kongyan sa mga bina. So when I felt called to be a preacher, I, I was. I was terrified of coming up on stage. Eh, pasianin ama tu gendi nong sab lai na ki pe ni banga pulpit tu ga ding ding ji pe kalau ngiat kati. I said Lord how am I going to preach? Koi chi banga ki pe main pas tu gen mi mi pi ma tu gen ding ka kati. I was so scared. Lau lua hi mai yong. When I was in Bible school in in Broken Arrow. He Broken Arrow a Bible school ka sang ka ka lai na One day Kenneth Hagen was preaching teaching us Kenneth Hagen in go to lai ong hil hi and he said this aman bangyan yam jile in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 kolentu ni na alian thum it says we are confident of all this because of our great trust in God through Christ ate na seisu kaji hangin pasian sunga iu pimuan na to ate pe khamuan na lian pi hite tungta nga inga hi china polui na gen hi it is not that we are we think we are qualified to do anything on our own ate pe ni na sem ding in kiching ta ing chi na hi zen zen lo hi our qualification comes from god ate kichin na pe to pa kyang panang pai nai zo hi he has enabled us Aman ay tapil ay zoding inong ball tay hi. And that day in class, right here in Broken Arrow, he Broken Arrow he told us Broken Arrow ma to ka 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 sang kalaisim na kansong ma. I was set free in my spirit. Kasung panin to kalau na pal suwak tang yating. Now I still I still have to talk to myself every day. Kaila kaila ni simin taki pa din ingto aki pan. Even this morning, sitting right there. Tuni ni tak katul lai tak ngon ke le ke tha ke bia la hing I say Lord you you've made me an able minister to panang ma hi te ke panang ma thugen ngam diang bol pe nang hi zo te ka chi hi You've not given me a spirit of fear 
And I'm going to walk up those steps. And I'm going to speak to these people today. So every time I have stood up to preach, all of these 43 years, every time fear has been robbed of its power. You know what? Now I know why the devil was You know what else I did? I said, okay, if I'm afraid, I'm just going to walk up the steps and do it afraid. I'm going to do it anyhow. What is it that God wants you to do? That you're afraid of. Sometimes you have to do it even when you're afraid. We walk by faith and not by sight. How many of you know the name Nick Wolenda? Nick Wolenda. He, he's the tightrope walker. What's that? He's a, <laughs> he walks on, a, walks on a rope. Oh, Yes. Walks on a rope. Yep. Across Niagara Falls. Oh, Niagara, Niagara Falls. Uh, and, and across the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. On a wire. You're not going to interpret that? <laughs> so he's a believer in Jesus. Yeah, he's a faithful believer in Jesus. So we invited him to come to our church to speak. This was right before he walked across um, Niagara Falls. So, so I was having lunch with him. I said, Nick, how do you do that? How do you get out there? Aren't you afraid? He said, my faith is in God. And he said, when, I, when I'm afraid, I do it afraid. I don't know if you've seen him on TV or not. But every step he takes, he says, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Now, I wouldn't suggest you try that. <laughs> but you know, you know, I thought to myself, uh, I thought, why would you even do something like that? Pastor Mung, he said to me, I feel called by God to do this. Wow. I said, said, said to him, why would you feel called by God to do that? <laughs> he said, this is what he said to me. He said, when people see me walk across that rope, they think 
If he can do that, then I can do what God is telling me to do. He said, I take every step by faith. <laughs> you know, the things Jesus did in his life and ministry teach us about faith and how to overcome fear. One day, Jesus was on his way to a certain place, and a man by the name of Jairus came to him. What is the, the description? It's, it's uh, Mark chapter 5, okay. verse 21. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Yes. You know, folks, I love Pastor Moon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really do. I love working with him in the kingdom of God. He's such a sincere man of God. <laughs> sincere. Sincere. Devoted. Yes. So Jairus said to Jesus, My daughter is sick, please come and heal her. So Jesus said, Okay, I'll come. But as he was going, he was stopped by some people. And he was stopped to heal the woman with the issue of blood. And it says, and it says while he was still speaking to this woman, some, some messengers arrived from Jairus' house and said, Don't bother the teacher any longer, your daughter is dead. And when Jesus heard what they said, he looked at Jairus. And he said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Only, only believe. Amen? Don't be afraid. Only believe. So what do we do when bad news comes? We have a choice to believe or to let our mind be overtaken with fear. And Jesus went to their uh, to the house and raised up the little girl. So what is your fear today? Is there a fear that you're battling with today? Are you anxious about something? Are you worried about something? 
Is fear trying to grip your heart? If you have anxiety or fear, I want to pray for you. Let me tell you this story first. I have been to India 21 times. India But some years ago, one of those trips, on the way to the airport, I started to feel really strange. And the, and the closer I got to the gate at the airport, I thought I was going to faint. So I laid down right, right in the airport. And, and people came running. They, they said, are you okay? I said, no, I wouldn't be laying here if I would be okay. <laughs> So they took me to the hospital. Check, did a lot of tests. And the next morning they kept me overnight. The next morning a doctor came in my room. And he said, Mr. Smucker, what are you afraid of? Mr. Smakao Banghizazeniam Nalawong Chihi. I said, uh, I don't know. Kayong Kalao Pen Banghiam Nam Take Mok Vengo Kachi. He said, There's nothing wrong with you physically. Napum bitunga damlo na chi bang omvet lohi um chi. He said, You had an anxiety attack. Nang tunga lungimo na lao na to umki do hi chi. Man of faith and power. <laughs> An anxiety attack. <laughs> I said, can I go home? I said, there's nothing wrong with you. You can go home. I said, can I go to India? India He said, yeah, if you want. So I went home and I told Sherlin, I said, you're going with me. I was not going to let fear keep me from doing what God had called me to do. So I went to India the next day. And we did all of our preaching. But you know, here's what I learned. Sometimes stress in life can be building in you and you don't even know it. So we made some changes in our lives. So our life wasn't so stressful. If, if you're dealing with fear or anxiety, I want to pray for you. Could, could we all stand up? And if you want to be included in that prayer, would you come up here? 
If you're dealing with fear and anxiety, just come real up here in the I don't know what your fear is, but God does. I want my wife to come and get ready to sing a song because it's part of ministry what I, that I feel that the Holy Spirit has for you. Everybody look at me. Everybody look at me. In John 14, 27. Here's my prayer for you. John 14, 27. Jesus said, I am leaving you with a gift. Everybody say gift. Gift. Gift am, Jesus said, I am leaving you with a gift. And here's the gift. Peace of mind and heart. That's the gift. Now, if I want to give you a gift, what do you have to do? Uh, if I hand you a gift, what do, we, what do you have to do? Huh? What do, you, what do you have to do? Just, you, have to, you have to take it. You have to take it. But you have to give it back. Yeah. <laughs> to receive a gift, you have to receive it. Amen. Then he says, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot receive or cannot give. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. So I want you to receive the gift. Say it, I receive. I receive. The gift. The gift. Of, of peace of mind and heart. Let's say it again. I receive the gift. Peace of mind and heart. I will not let fear dominate my life. I will not let anxiety and worry only faith will rule my life. Now I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your peace. I speak that peace into every mind and every heart. I come against all the fears in the name of Jesus I come against all the fears all the anxieties all the worries in Jesus name we speak deliverance. Deliverance in the heart and the mind. 
suatang na lungsim suwa ngay suna kaasunga Thank you Jesus I speak, your, I speak your peace over everybody No mi mal kal sim tunga nop na dai na tun na din kam mal te kapulak ta hi In the name of Jesus Zay sum to kapulak hi Now just stay right where you are Ta ta kan nop patun Sherlin wrote a song about this It's called Peace I Leave With You. So just receive the song. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. So let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. For God has not given us a spirit. He made us to be overcomers. Every, everywhere we go, no matter what we're going through. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel that I believe. For I know that He is able to keep that. To keep that which I've committed to him against that day. 
Guazona Eden Iladigi. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Thank you, Sean. It was great. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Sam. It was really great. Amen. Let Pai can I give la last year's yani. Amen. Ilau nothing, illumimo nothing, to him on kid day. To Nina Mikem, Topa Maya, last and warming. Lam no mere thing, I think I might buy Legend 